So the problem with the skull experiment was basically that it was not in good controlled conditions. There were factors left out, not accounted for, which could have allowed trickery to take place. Indeed, the people who carried out the test themselves admit this fact. But let's, for argument's sake, say it was legitimate. Let's say the test confirmed some kind of unexplained phenomena. What does that tell us about the things that cause that phenomena? Well, unfortunately, not a great deal. Even if we accept the premise that there was indeed some kind of phenomena going on, do we know it's actually spirit people actually creating the phenomena? The answer is quite simple. No, we do not. Indeed, it is just as valid for Muslims, Christians, and other religious groups to say it must be demons or some other kind of phenomena. Indeed, some paranormal investigators would say, oh no, it's not spirits. It's some kind of psychic or telepathic phenomena caused by a group of people creating the atmosphere, the mind field in a seance. So there are many arguments. Saying that it must be spirits, as many spiritualists, of course, would do, is a leap. A leap from recorded phenomena to what must have created that phenomena. That's their perspective as far as their religious belief. And this is why I don't call it evidence of the afterlife, as so many documentaries claim, because it does not prove the afterlife. It suggests an unexplained phenomena which may exist, and that's only if you accept the scientific tests that took place were indeed in proper controlled conditions. And in reality, that was not the case.